this is the first class uh, the goal uh, today is actually to get started learning as well and this is also the class where i a little bit clarify the plan the logistics of the course what we are doing why we are doing and uh, how we are going to do it so we will start uh, looking into these kind of questions today so if you have not registered for the program please register i know many of you got these links through whatsapp and through many other uh, connections registration is important because of many reasons you get uh, regular updates at the same time you will get participation certificate from me so please register for it if you have not registered there's a qr code and uh, the link on the website as well allows you to do that we are entering into the age of ai uh, why we are learning this course is because the age of ai is just starting so it's going to change how teaching is done it's going to change how everybody works including the artists basically um, again it's going to change how doctors are seeing their patients it's going to change like how universities are conducting exams because with all the ai around this ai is so smart to score very good on these exams actually today so everything is going to change around us uh, in fact there is a lot of uh, lot of uh, kind of community engagements lot of questions what will happen like whether it is is it going to take our jobs or is it going to help uh, help us this is like one of the uh, protest happening of nurses where they are protesting against uh, ai now i do know that many of you uh, are from different backgrounds i have seen all of your applications so we'll also discuss uh, some of that in the later slides so the the plan today is i will little bit uh, leave the time in the end to go through some of the important parts in punjabi as well so you can follow along from different choices in the forms i could understand that majority is fine with english or punjabi there are some of the students from villages who will prefer slightly slight explanations in punjabi too so asi last which punjabi which we jide important cheez jane explain kar deange so if you look at evolution of society we started with the 18th 19th century age of industry came in then the age of power electricity came in age of connectivity came in late 20th century um, ucla was one of the birthplace of internet that's where like i did my phd now the age of intelligence is happening now so the evolution of society has come to a stage where we are participating actively in the age of intelligence and this is also the time uh, when it's most appropriate to learn this for all of us now what is going to happen in this course finally all of all of our energies this practical ai course is to enable you for the future careers be it a data scientist data engineer ai engineer ai tester business analyst forecasting expert predictive modeling expert vision expert recommendation expert nlp engineer generative ai engineer all of these are the terms which if you are active uh, suppose you are a bachelor or master student then you actually know that all of these terms because this is these are the job profiles you often see on linkedin um, or these are the job profiles you see probably through different portals all of these jobs internally are basically trying to do similar things with some differences we will have courses later on with the kind of more details on what what each of these job profile is doing like in next few lectures but all of these job profiles actually are within the reach of the course curriculum so the plan is actually to prepare all of you so that you can actually know what all of these people are doing and can be one of them so if you want to do the best you can be one of them uh why we need this course so ai is everywhere careers all around us a lot of hype and the future like i said the age of ai so it's it's lot around you this is a nice way to know what ai can do and cannot do and what exactly is possible versus what is hype uh we have conducted a lot of sessions where like companies are using amazon google spotify netflix name a company which you are using they are anyway using ai or name a field even agriculture this is like one of my research work trans translating ai robots into the fields but you will see that all of this is nothing but an ai in action there's a sea of online courses so many courses are available online but students are lost in this online journey that we are to begin uh so and many of the courses are very costly so this is one of our effort from the organizers that let us provide practical knowledge world class knowledge uh, and to our students so they can actually make up their mind much early on many orientation sessions have been conducted by us so some of the recordings are available on youtube for example a session on uh, how companies and the skills are matching or a session on how ai and healthcare are coming into being 
and some sessions are also available in Punjabi. So these are available on our YouTube channel at the Rate Machine Learning School. Uh, I will request you all actually to visit these channels and videos if you have not uh, done so. Now, who should take this course? So we are like having registration from amazing uh, students, but there are students with eighth class and above, and then there are students with bachelors or masters. So the students in eighth class and above, the goal is to make them stay ahead of changes. A lot of changes are coming, so they have a lot of time to become future leaders and creators of AI. This is the right mindset and right time to be. Bachelors and masters are actually going to enter into the field very soon, maybe in six months, one year, two years. So this is, a, um, this is a nice way to prepare yourself for new careers and be market ready. There are so many people also who are joinees who are not school students or bachelors or masters. Um, they are just here for the fun of learning. So they probably want to use AI to advance whatever goal they have in mind. Um, so all of you are welcome. We have a diverse audience. I am aware of it. And we are planning accordingly based on all the resources we have at the same time to give you the best experience. Uh, just uh, This is a time to also introduce your instructors. You might have seen me through emails or through web, web chats on WhatsApp, but formal introduction I'll do. So I'm a bachelor from IIT Roorkee and did master's and PhD from UCLA. Have a rich experience with a lot of tech companies, Amazon, Oracle, IBM, ARM, Data Data, Backus, Dota. I most recent role, I was leading so many teams uh, in forecasting, predictive modeling, large LLMs, generative AIs, and so on. Currently, I'm working on ML0.ai, which is uh, an ML platform. I was also the coordinator of Los Angeles Computing Circle. It's 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 an uh, amazing uh, organization. Uh, through it, I was able to impact 150 plus California schools with a similar curriculum, which looking today. So we have a good experience in running school curriculums, AI curriculums, and leading industrial teams. So the knowledge which you are getting today is quite filtered uh, through many, many channels through our experiences. With me, there is also Dr. Indrajot Kaur, the co-coordinator of the course, and I will also ask her to introduce herself uh, a short introduction, please, Dr. Kaur. Yeah, so I, I did my bachelor's um, from NIT Jalandhar, then I did my master's in aerospace engineering from North Carolina State University, USA. Uh, my PhD postdoc is from Mississippi State University in mechanical engineering with focus on computational engineering or, um, in uh, thermal and fluid sciences. Uh, post that, I worked as a research engineer in Caterpillar Industries. Uh, later, I uh, founded Simple Mind School, where I mentor um, these students for grad education uh, in USA uh, to target top schools. And I actually authored books on higher education and on university applications. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. So just to give you a glimpse, we um, means we have together maybe 60 plus research papers at top conferences, journals. 50 is a just a rough number. I, I think there's much more than that. But our research actually touches a, everything around you from environment to sensing, all the decision making which is happening is impacting all the like actuators as well, maybe drones or tracking or even this. This is like a simulation robot learning to, to how to walk in. So all of these are very interesting applications. Our goal will be to actually teach from this all the relevant practical skill sets how to vision um, via which you can create these applications. For example, one of my work in designing chips is used uh, by all of your smartphones, like Samsung iPhone devices. They are all designed uh, using Mango, which is uh, kind of an ARM library, which I created during my PhD student days. So all the chips in microcontrollers, including your car chips or satellite chips, or even the smartphone chips, they are designed by AI, and that AI is trained using Mango. In this example, it's showing that a very complex decision boundary mango can approximate in just a few iterations. So this is like a vision where humans are not creating AI. AI itself can create AI. It's like a very next generation vision. Now coming back to the course. So we have spent a lot of orientation session. You probably joined one of them. But we, we, were, we were able to connect with thousands of students and professors in this past few days, including the orientation sessions, which IIT Roorkee conducts. So I'm one of their industry expert speaker on AI orientation which we often do for professors in top Indian universities. And then many programs in colleges and schools we conducted on our own as well, including the doctor's programs, or most recently visit to Lidhiana at Guru Nanak Engineering College. So uh, a short summary, we have spent a good amount of work to get you here. And this is the time to actually get you excited and along. OK. And a lot of fun AI classes we have been running locally in many different villages. 
Here again, uh, the plan was to teach them how to even just uh, like collect data. This is a variant of MNIST data set. If you're new to ML, this is like bread and butter of ML data sets. Or how to even create like Buffalo classifier or code classifier at home with the data collector with the student themselves. So a lot of rich experience for many months. And now for this class, uh, we are going to actually do the same thing for you online. So this is the time when I would like you to introduce yourself. You can do that by write, writing in the chat, just two lines, maybe more as well, but your name, city, university, or any job role if, if you want to share and why, why you want to take this course. So this is your time. I'll stop here for say a minute. Uh, Okay, so like this is like also a way for you all to see each other. So there are people who are joining from Amritsar, from Ludhiana, from JNDU, from Butla, from Agriculture University, from Thapar, the science teacher, uh, and uh, yeah, and most students from Thapar, from Tarantar, and from Mansa. So this is actually a nice online platform where a lot of remote people from different different places are connected and able to see each other. Yes, so. Um, then the course plan actually is uh, we will start with the basics of AI for the first two months. So this is very critical and important where you will learn how, how does an AI expert thinks. So whenever you have a problem, an open problem, what is what is the bread and butter that how can you think like an AI expert to find a solution for it? Even though you may not have the best solution, but this is the beginning. So you will, we will create simpler AI projects. These will be real projects, but in reality, these are simpler toy problems because the real world models are more complex than this. But this is a nice way to get started. This is like your uh, orientation introduction for longer duration where you can learn to create these things. Further, in the intermediate course after the two months, we'll learn different stages of AI. Like AI has its own variations, different flavors. These all things are again practical. We will tie it directly to what is relevant to industry. We dive going into a lot of history and past history about the things which are no longer used. But from basics to different stages, all these stages are actually practical and used today. And the projects in the intermediate course will be simpler versions of industry. So they are very much relevant to industry, but still little simplified. So the students can actually a little bit understand without the complexities around everything. An advanced course we will also plan. And the goal there will be to tackle tough problems. So these will be projects which are actually how industry solves their equivalent problems. Uh, this, this will be based on like industry research papers itself. Many of the research papers, like either they have like collaborated with us or we have authored and they have cited it. So that kind of setting where more tough problems. Uh, in the basics of introductory course, we will also have sessions planned by Dr. Indrajit Kaur on uh, career advice. So, so she has written book, books on like graduate applications, resumes, statements, SOPs, a lot of finer details. So this will be um, also a nice way to know that whatever you are learning, what is the nice way to organize it in your resume. So if you're planning to go into industry, um, if you're planning to apply for a grad school, she has a lot of deeper expertise. Most of her uh, like uh, students whom she helps are international. So this is a nice way, a nice, nice resource for you to learn as well. Uh, this kind of map shows you that most of the registrations we have like are from the northern part of India, but we have people from Mumbai, Bangalore, even Goa, or like Nagpur. We have people from all around, but these are like this is showing you that we have people from seventy-seven different cities who are registered. So it's an amazing achievement where we all are connected. We are from different parts and still trying to learn together. 